the, the way I look at this is this is what sparks the interest of the kid that becomes a paleontologist. Exactly. This is what sparks the interest of the billionaire that donates the money to make the museum so that they have somewhere to put dinosaurs. This is what gets people going. You know, obviously Jurassic Park gets everybody going, but being able to hold it in your hand and actually see it and understand what a dinosaur is makes a huge difference. We're looking for pieces of dinosaur washing down the hill, eroding out, and hopefully we can follow it up and find a whole bone. You can see that, you know, obviously it's weathered, it's not as defined as where we were at, but you can see this clay, you can see the sand up above it, and you'll see all these colored pebbles coming out of that layer, so we know that's kind of a channely deposit. So right here, coming out, you can see these weathered pieces of bone. Mm -hmm. You can see these pieces sitting right here. These are all pieces of dinosaur bone. This looks pretty frilly, which is a pretty common one. So a piece of Triceratops frill. So what we'll do is I'm going to look right here to see on this transition if it's coming out anywhere and see what we can come up with. And the odds of this being a complete bone when it was buried is slim too. I mean, it's not just erosion and plants, it's predation, it's time, it's, I mean, there's a million factors that want this fossil to fall apart. It's still a usable chunk of bone. We still put these together. We still use these for education. We still sell these as little specimens that people can look and study at and have a piece of a dinosaur for a very reasonable price by doing them like this. This is stuff that, you know, maybe in the academic world isn't very valuable because there's nothing there to really study and understand. But for guys like us, you know, that's something that we can pick up and we can find good homes for them. We can find a classroom that they can go to or we can find a, you know, who, I mean, for a couple dollars, you can get your first dinosaur bone and it's a real dinosaur bone.